Hello everyone. Uh, so we will be learning about decision trees today with the help of the C tree function from the package called party. So a decision tree is like a flowchart structure in which each of the internal nodes represents a test or an attribute. Uh, so each branch represents an outcome of this test and each leaf node represents a class label. So the, the internal nodes in the decision tree will be the test, the branches coming out will be, will be the outcome of the test and finally the leaf nodes will be the class labels of the data. So the paths from the root right in the leaf are called the classification rules. Okay. So we will proceed to form a decision tree using the Irish data set in this example. So we initially check the structure of the Irish data set and we see that we have five attributes with species being the important uh, attribute which contains the class labels called Setosa, Versicola and Virginica. So next we use the set seed function. Now the set seed function is important because it tells us in what pattern the seeding is done in case uh, there is any sampling done. So in the next step we do the sample. So what this thing does is it, it forms uh, rules for sampling. We form two of them. Uh, the rows in the data set IRS represent the size of the samples. We replace the sample so we say this is true and the probability of uh, classifying them into the two samples that we want to make. So we use the C function which will combine the vectors 0 0.7 and 0 0.3 into one value. Which what this means is we need to form two samples, one of 70 percent and one of 30 percent. So the training data will contain the 70 percent of the uh, samples and uh, the test data will contain 30 percent of the samples. So it's a 70, 30 break off where 70% of data will be used to form the classifiers and then 30% of the data will be used to test out the classifier. So we do these steps also. So we have the test data and training data. Training data contains 112 objects and test data contains 38. Then we import the library party. Uh, then create this my formula variable. This my formula variable is important because <coughs> it tells that uh, the species is the important variable here because it contains the class labels and the rest of uh, rest are normal attributes that is simple length, simple width, petal length and petal width. So the my formula variable will tell the C3 function that the species is the important variable. So next we perform the C3 function and we use the my formula variable as the first parameter and the second parameter is the data so to form the decision tree and the classifiers we use the trading data that is the 112 object so we go on to execute this line and then we see that the iris c tree is the formal class of the binary tree so the iris c tree object contains the results and the classifiers of the c tree function so next we will show this in a tabular form. So here we can see that uh, the Setosa is having a very clean classification where all 40 are classified as Setosa. In Versicola we have 37 correctly classified and one erroneously classified as like Virginica. And in Virginica we have 31 correct classified with 3 erroneously classified as Versicola. This error sometimes occur because the attributes are very closely related, so sometimes there may be variations here and there. So we then go to print the classifiers out. So here we can see that uh, we're getting the response that the classifiers are for species, and the inputs are the variable, the other attribute that is simple length, simple with petal length, petal width, and the number of observations are 112, exactly how we have in a training data. So we have here one example where the petal length should be less than 
the criterion 1, statistic is 104.643 and then the subcategory where the weight uh, equal to 40, that means 40 observation. So accordingly, uh, the iris C tree contains all the classifiers for the decision tree. Next we go and we plot the iris C tree. So now we have this nice plot where we can diagrammatically see that uh, the petal length is the root node of the tree. So we start at the petal length and if it is less than 1.9 then we know that the, the <laughs> number of objects falling it into a 40 and we see that they are all classified as setosa. So now if the petal length is greater than 1.9 then we go on to check the petal width. Now the petal width is greater than 1.7 then we know that in almost all the cases it will be virginica where some of the cases it may be versicolor and 32 number of observations come here. Then we further go and check the if after the petal length is greater than 1.9 and we also check if the petal width is less than 1.7. So then, in that case, we check the petal length again. If it is greater than one, greater than 4.4, uh, then we know that it will be classified as versicolor with some objects sometimes being classified under virginica. But if it is less than 4.4, we know 100% sure that it will be versicolor, cleanly classified. And we have 21 observations here. In the previous one, we have 19 observations. This is the decision tree diagrammatic representation for you. So then we go on to show a simpler graph where it is shown even more, more clearly. So we have the petal length as the root and then we have the second node which contains the classification for setos, uh, the first observation. And it has 40. If it is greater than 1.9 and the petal width is greater than 1.7, then we have 32 observations and these come under virginica but there are some that may also fall in versicular. So if there are less than 1.7 value in petal width then again we check the petal length. If it is less than 4.4 then we have a strong classification as versicular where we have this y value where the second attribute of that is 1 which says it is strongly and uh, classified as uh, versicolor but if, it, but if it is greater than 4.4 we see that it is classified as versicolor strongly but there are sometimes chances which will be classified as versicolor so next we have the variable where we are testing the data so we have a predict function using the iris c tree classifier and the variable is new data we pass to the test data that is the 38 objects the rest of the 38 object we will use to test this classifier and see how well it performs. So we will run that uh, line and then we will run the next line where we plot this on a table. So now our table shows us that uh, we have tested the data at Setosa, has 10 observations and all have been classified as Setosa. In Versicola we have 12, all have been classified as 12 correctly and in Virginica we have 14 plus 2 that is 16 and 2 have been errorlessly uh, classified as virginica when they were actually supposed to be uh, two, I mean 2 have been wrongly classified as versicola when they were actually supposed to be virginica. So in this way we see that uh, how decision trees are formed using the C tree function in our programming and it falls under the uh, package party. Thanks you.